Hey guys, I'm uh, here making another video, and this is a uh, two-foot fluorescent light fixture that I got this summer. Um, this was actually in the trash. Um, someone had thrown it out. It appeared to be with the remodeling, other because there were like carpets and other remodeling garbage in the you know out by the curb. So this was among that, and I pulled it out. Um, it's a pretty neat fixture. Um, it's from 1977 um, that I found out based on the date of the transformers inside, and. Um, it's uh, the brand's like Home View, I think. Uh, you know, Home and then V U E, Home View. So um, that's the brand on it, and it's just a you know pretty standard looking uh, shop light. You know, it's got the shade on it. But this one is pretty old, like I said, '77, and um, the bulbs in it appear to be either original or possibly older than the fixture itself. Um, I'm not sure we can read that, but it says Sylvania um, 20 watt white. Um, it's not cool white, it's between warm white and cool white, so this is, that's just a white, which I don't even think they make that anymore. Um, and obviously you can see the uh, ends on it are the black ones. It's like, I don't know, it's not metal, I think it's like fake light or something. Um, and then um, made in USA as well. So these are, these are pretty old bulbs, um, they're at least from 77 I would say. And uh, both of them still work, surprisingly. Um, but they are getting... Pretty close to the end of their life, I'm guessing, because the ends are blackened on both of them. But uh, they do still work. And another thing I should mention is that this one's actually a preheat, so that, that adds to the coolness of the fixture. Um, I don't, I don't think I have any. This is my first T12 uh, preheat fixtures. I think all my other ones are T8 or smaller, so pretty neat find. Um, I have another two-foot fluorescent fixture that I got many a couple of years ago, probably like 2010 or so, it was several years ago. Um, that one's two foot, but that one's a bit newer, so this has kind of got a more vintage look to it. So, pretty neat. And um, when I got it, the uh, there was a problem with it. Um, actually, the exact same problem as my R and M fan. Uh, if you've seen that video, um, R and M fan. I mean, this one uh, when I plugged in this light, um, I felt a current through the metal shell, and I couldn't really narrow it down to anything except that it w was probably the rain, um, because it had rained overnight. Um, the night before I picked this up, and it was a little bit wet when I got it. I mean, I wiped off the physical water, but I think there might have been some other water inside of it. But I took the whole thing apart, um, looked at the, all the wiring, um, replaced a few wires that I thought were suspicious, um, made sure it was grounded, and put a new power cord on it. As you can see, it's another you know generic one from Ace, and uh, I don't have the problem anymore. Um, I checked it with a voltmeter, nothing flowing through it. So I, it was either the power cord or you know one of those other wires I changed, I guess. Or it could have just been the rain too, but it works great now, and I've used it quite a bit this summer, and it seems to be just fine, so good as new, I'd say. And um, without further ado, we'll go ahead and power it up. Um, I'll try to look over here so you can see it when I turn around. Okay. There you go, it's kind of hard to see now. Light bleeds some, but nice bright fixture. Some something that's interesting is uh, the camera picks this up, but you can't really see it in real life. Um, the ends kind of look well. You can see it better here. One end looks kind of blue, and one looks kind of orange, and it's the opposite on the other end. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but it kind of appears that way. Yeah, you can see it there, a little bit there. I'm not sure if that's just you know, part of the cathode nanodes, I'm not sure, but kind of interesting. Seems like the, there's those orange stripes in it, I don't know why it does that, it's just the fluorescent lights do that sometimes. But yeah, it's, it's a very like white light, it's not, it's, it's, I'd say it's closer to cool white than warm white, but it's still, you know, it's, you could tell it's you know, a little bit in between. Yeah, and I, I've been told they don't make the white bulbs anymore, so pretty neat. I, uh, I plan on taking this to uh, college, um, as well as you know the R and M fan I made a video about. Um, this will I'll probably hang it under my bed with the with the other one I have. Is the bed's lofted, so this will be a good light, kind of over the the sofa. And um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and there will be more videos to come. Bye bye.